Okay, today I'm going to be uh, talking about Birkeland currents, i.e. double helix energy flow. Uh, this is a picture from space. This is a Birkeland current carrying matter through space. It exists and it's right there. Now, I've said that every single waveform has two sides and a crossover point, like a fan, like a triangular fan. It has a helix on the left and a helix on the right and it crosses over like a spring. Now I have said that Birkeland Current's double helix energy flow is everywhere and it is the EM field which is conducting the flow. Energy is double helix and our EM field and all EM fields are double helix just like this and they go down to infinitesimal sizes and uh, everything I've learned about um, waveforms I've learned from watching smoke which is kind of funny as in the past they said that wizards were burnt at the stake for playing around with smoke and burnt as, as opposers of God. Um, I actually dispute that and I believe it was the scientists that killed these people because they didn't want people messing around with smoke and decided it would be termed magic. Well funnily enough I found out how sun flares work, uh, how the Moscow was made, all from looking at smoke. So I'd seen double helix Birkeland currents in smoke and today I'm going to prove that Birkeland currents are everywhere and it's how energy travels. So I set up my camera and I have recorded cigarette smoke and here are the results. So there's the cigarette, I've got the camera manually focused up close so in the beginning here the first 30 seconds you're going to see all kind of tubes forming. These are Birkeland currents at a very small size and in a moment because I've said that Birkeland currents are actually tornado fingers we're going to see one come into the picture and it's going to zoom over because of uh, um, the air currents and it's going to show you a Birkeland current it's kind of like a Star Trek animation but it's not so here we go there's the finger coming on the left it's a finger here it comes and then I'm going to freeze the frame that is a Birkeland current. It is electrical. There are several double sheaths in there, which shows it is all electrical connecting. It has made its own electrical sheaths, and as you can see, they are spiraling in both directions. Now, if I had an extremely high speed camera with a high def lens, we would be getting exceptional pictures. So it's actually going to zoom in now and we're going to see all kinds of filaments inside this. Comes in, look at all that. So there we go. I'm going to put this up again in a minute. Right now this is just more smoke pictures showing all the different layers. Okay, so I'm just going to repeat it three times for anybody fascinated by what they see because I know I am. So there we go, by observational evidence, I do believe I've conclusively shown that Birkeland currents are everywhere, they are electrical, and they, ex they are found in smoke. So if there was more investigation done on our planet rather than looking 14 billion years into space, we might actually get somewhere understanding that the universe is electric. Look at that big Birkeland current there just swung past. <laughs> um, yeah, so they're all in smoke. So there we go, figuring out the universe is electric, that Birkeland currents are everywhere because the universe is electric. They are contained within double helix energy flows, which are in fact two scrolls pushed together, 
all energy comes out as a wave then it rolls into a halo and then into a ball because that's how energy travels. The energy actually doesn't fold into a ball, it folds in the y direction and the x direction. Kind of like a butterfly movement. You can see it on some of the pieces in here as the energy starts to entropy inside of the uh, carbon matter. But basically, Birkeland Currents. Thank you very much. My name is Lee and I'm a Christian.